So, here we are at United Group. We're on day four of Automate. Right on. And we're here with Courtney, who's gonna explain to us this pretty cool uh, AMR with the Universal Robot Vision Systems. Tell me what we got here. Yeah, absolutely. So, United Robotics Group, is a global solutions provider for UR actually. So this is sold as a complete solution and it's named Kairos. Um, it's built on a base that's uh, by a company called Robotnik. Um, it's a company that we own that's based out of Spain and they've been doing AMRs actually for 20 years, but their previous target was more like the education market and now they're starting to sell to industry and create unique and useful solutions in my opinion. So mobile manipulators I think are the new big thing that we're going to see solutions for now. So not just bulk transportation of goods, but maybe yeah. some independent ability to load up the transportation yeah. device that you're using, whether it's a bin or a basket or a, you know, whatever it is you choose. Yeah. And like, so one of the, one of you guys' strategies is to like sell this all as one unit, right? Yes. And so, you know, this gives you the ability to have vision, obviously a robotic arm. Uh, you can see that the, the system here is uh, picking up apples and it's using a vision system to be able to locate the apples, right? Absolutely. So there's a, another camera that can be used here. That's a 3D camera by RoboBrain, uh, or sorry, RoboMinds called the RoboBrain Eye. And um, it's got some AI skills built into it. So this one's using 2D to kind of find this landmark and know where everything is with respect to the landmark. But gotcha. with the AI tool, it can actually just see, not necessarily that it's an apple, but it, it's a shape that can be picked from a particular point. So it'll yeah. see the apple and say, you should go here to the center of this thing to pick it up. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, yeah and like one of the things is like, you know, a, a really big use case for this is, let's say for instance, you have uh, a very slow cycle time and it doesn't take like a, a bunch of human labor to do something. You could use this for like, like lab testing to yes. go pick up samples from around the facility, yep. uh, pick up stuff from like end of line. Yep. You know, maybe you have 10 lines in a row and it's, you know, not worth it to automate the end of the line for just that one exactly. uh, operation, but you could have an AMR, even even palletize. It could pick something up from the end of a conveyor and then set it to a, a pallet for that, that line and then go on to the next line, pick for that conveyor, set it to, to a pallet there. Yeah, I've had more than one customer come up and say, I've got a box that comes out you know, every five minutes. Yep. So it's not worth it to put an arm at the end of that line, but all 10 lines kind of run the same way. So this robot can drive up on demand, so to speak, and as long as it knows which line it's parked at the end of, you could even do different pallet operations. So let's just say one needs a, a particular configuration where you're building it like a Lego bricks, you That's know, it. or you need yep. one that needs to do something different. As long as it knows where it's at via a code or some other vision recognition, it can do a whole different set of motions. Yeah, and that's a good thing to kind of point out is like for this particular robot and, and the vision system that it has, it's using this, this QR locator and that gives you the ability to have a super fine-tuned uh, 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 picking position, whereas like maybe this AMR might come in, it parks a little bit crooked. The, the vision system is able to uh, accommodate for that. But yeah, so like this is something that's really important to be able to uh, deploy this across like different things and do it very quickly even with like machine tending if you're doing like cnc machine tending doing like the qr code and the vision system type of setup that gives you the ability to locate that machine so you know exactly uh how the robot's oriented against that machine exactly the technology for amrs is a little bit behind the technology for the arms because they've been around longer yep. but amrs typically repeat to no matter who you talk to somewhere in the inch and centimeter range where the arm is repeatable to sub millimeter yep. so if you want to get that repeatability back after you park you're pretty much always going to need some kind of vision system to capture the frame and then correct for all the rotations and things that the parking spot didn't quite get right yep absolutely well thank you very much courtney yeah thanks for your time <laughs>